You know, we have a 900 foot tunnel that is in real need of beautification. And we had our local council member, council member Rodriguez approach us about coming here and producing work. So we announced an open call earlier this year and we selected some fantastic artists who will be working on site for the next few days. We hope that some of the younger kids within the community who are street artists themselves are inspired by these artists and see that there are opportunities to be commissioned by the city of New York um, and that you don't have to do it illegally. There are programs that you can apply to to ask for funding. What's going on right now is that they're painting the tunnel to make it look brighter and better for the community. Everything we design is usually designed specifically for its location, so this tunnel was a really exciting gig because we could incorporate two walls that come together at the ceiling. It's a tunnel, so it's a pretty intimate setting, and it's really fun. Thousands of people walk through it every single week, so new people get to see your art all the time. I think it's, it's great for the kids. Instead of them walking through a tunnel that is dimly lit with full of trash, you're going to see artists. And actually, you may see some graffiti, but talented graffiti artists. The local community here is not necessarily exposed on a regular basis to the type of art that we're bringing. The styles of, of each artist are very different and very exciting. To have like some historical graffiti artists from New York actually painting in here, is pretty phenomenal, you know, because you normally don't get something like that. I think that's the most important thing because uh, the city's kind of opened the, their mind. We're so devoted at DOT now uh, to doing public art. We had 150 responses to an open call. And these were some of the best artists in the world doing public art. Four artists and one artist team were chosen to create the works that you'll see shortly. Although each of these artists are internationally known, their vision for the murals not only encompass the spirit of this community, but of the city overall. It's great to have an institution like the DOT supporting creativity. Seeing the Department of Transportation come together with artists and them actually taking clout in creativity, it, it just means everything because it shows that they care. And that's one of the most beautiful things that's happening over here. I'm so thankful today to our city agencies, to DOT, to the artists, thank you so much for our wonderful work that you did. What we really hope is that the community can embrace this as a jewel and recognize that this has been beautified, not for our pleasure, not for our agenda, but for the community's agenda. I'm just really psyched for how this is going to look because it's going to be mind-blowing, I think. It's going to be really cool. When people come through from the community, they can enjoy the art, man. All the art. To get a good wow is like is a really awesome feeling and we've gotten some of those and you don't usually get a good wow experience when you're walking in a dingy tunnel. The tunnel looked very dull and like very like rusty like the paint was chipping and like okay it's graffiti but like it wasn't like art like what it was no. now. It looks like it's a rainbow.